Hey, hello, Ross Moore. Today we're going to go over uh, photo sharing albums uh, that you put together using your own pictures. Now, I know there are many ways to share your uh, photos, your digital photos, or scanned in photos from uh, pre digital camera days, uh, uh, such as Instagram, Facebook, uh, just online storage, uh, be it Amazon, Google, or Apple. But this way you can create uh, sets of photos and name the album and caption the photos and then share it to only specific people. You don't have to share it to entire uh, Facebook communities and whatnot. So let's go out and get an app. Now there are many of these out there. So we're gonna go to the, we're using an iPad. So we're gonna go to the app store over here. Now originally I was gonna do, um, uh, originally, I was going to demo this one here. It's called uh, 23 Snaps. You know, it's it's got decent reviews, but you see, it's more uh, well that the app ended up turning more into uh, a specific niche. Uh, I see people sharing their their baby photos and and their children. Uh, uh, milestones and measurements. So I'm going to find something different from that one. And it's called Photo Circle. Right there. So what we're going to do is download it and install this. Of course, people always do want to share photos of their family and um, you could share pictures with uh, family members and friends now your other uh, family members can put together photo albums and share them with you as well so you can see your grandchildren uh, weddings um, but people do love to share pictures of your children <laughs> so that is the main um, catch for uh, these online photo albums um, and again these are private photo albums o only people that you share it with you see this uh, code here for each album generates a code so you're not sharing it with the uh, strangers so here's a brief description here capture your memories in shared albums it's fast, private, and simple. Create albums for all occasions. Examples are weddings, birthdays, vacations, families, and classrooms. Uh, join a friend's album or start a new one. So people share their albums with each other. Uh, there's no limit to the number of photos or videos you can add. And some of the key highlights here. Um, it says babies. Uh, Parents who create baby picture albums uh, for grandparents, birthday celebrations with friends, uh, uh, puppies, kittens, you know, your pets, uh, and life's special moments. Uh, there is a, This is a free-to-use app, but it does put ads. Um, well, there's a pro uh, subscription as well to remove the ads. Um, so if you live with a few ads, it's not bad. Um, but uh, their cost is 99 cents a month. Um, so if you paid monthly, that's almost $12 for the year. But they do have a one-time pay for the year at $7.99. doesn't seem like much considering how much we pay for subscription things. Um, uh, but, you know, just a, a couple of ads in your app is not too bad. And then you see the... Uh, the ratings they got over uh, 49,000 ratings and it's 4.9 stars out of five so that is pretty good and that's uh, another reason why I decided to go with this app it has a slightly higher rating and it's not uh, it's not really baby centric so let's download that app so you see here it's downloading now it's ready to open let's open that up Take a look at it. 
So I'm gonna have to orient vertically. It's not one. It's another one of these uh, phone-centric uh, apps, uh, and not really optimized for a tablet, um, where you could hold it horizontal. You have to hold it vertical. And now, being that most of us do take pictures with our phones, um, the app is designed more for a, uh, a phone screen. That's why it has a narrower uh, s a vertical slim view. Okay, it says register to join. So let's swipe through these little ads here, or the walkthrough. That's more of a feature thing. So here's, like many of these, you can sign in with uh, uh, Facebook, uh, with Apple, or log in with an email. Um, so let's create an account. So I'm going to do R, Rossmore resident here, Joseph Rossmore. That is Yahoo account. And we got to create a password. Okay, so we have to supposedly agree to that uh, privacy statement and stuff. So let's save the password. That's the iPad thing. Okay. So get started below. So we need to create a uh, a new album name. So down here, create. We'll tap on that. So let's call this uh, vacation. Twenty nineteen. And now you can invite. Um, friends uh, to view this but uh, we haven't put anything here yet so this would be settings down here the little sprocket gear so let's tap on that to find out so delete circle change circle title disabled notifications okay now down here is you see the camera that's where we would add photos so we have to allow access to our photos so we don't have a whole lot of photos going on in here so let's now this would be your phone where you would have probably hundreds of photos just sitting in there um, i know i have photos in my uh, card from previous phones in this most recent phone and those photos go back years so so let's pick uh these three four and then I'll say done. So this is my younger son. So this is not a vacation. So let's change the title. We'll call it Christmas Holidays. And we'll say this was in 2018. Okay. So now what we want to do is share this. Now these photos are all going to be uploaded to their server. So I need to send a join link for, to share this. So how am I going to send this? So you have options here. Airdrop's an Apple thing. You could just share that across uh, devices if they're close by. Uh, you can send it through a chat message, uh, Chrome browser, Gmail. Um, this is Opera as a browser, uh, Zoom. How about we'll just copy, copy it? So it's in the clipboard. So if I were to go out to
if I were to go out to a browser and let's open up the Yahoo email So I'm at my email, and let me just rotate this since I can. It's much larger. Um, so we have our email saying, welcome. Let's load the images. We trust them, so we say load images. So here's our welcome email. Welcome to Photo Circle, and some tips here. So I remembered I so I'm going to create a new email. So I'm going to send it to myself and say uh, photo photo circle album. And let's see if I could paste that in. So here is what I copied out of the app Photo Circle, and there's a link to my album. So it gave it a unique uh, series of uh, alphanumeric code there. So I'm going to go ahead and send that. So let's go back to to the app now I've received that email so I'm gonna go open up that email so now I've got uh, my iPhone I got that email that I sent myself but it's actually from uh, uh, Joseph Rossmore so let's click on that. So it looks like, so I could preview these looking here, but if I want to see the full thing, I have to, looks like I have to download the app. So I'm downloading the app to the phone. Opening the app. Let's see. I just wanted to join the circle. Join circle now. So I have to... Uh, log in and create my own account here too looks like send you notifications no say so, say a password so now I'm in this person's circle, so I could view these pictures. Swipe. And that's basically it. So if I want to comment, I could do that. And then you can go back and forth and create um, a, s a little chat thread on this. So I tap down here who this is. It's uh, Joseph Rossmore sent this album. Okay. So I have the option up 
here to send more photos back to the other person. So I have to, again, like agree to that. So if I had pictures to share, I could add it to this album. See, I've added this photo here to jo Joseph Ross Moore's uh, Christmas Holidays 2018. So, and I could invite more friends and, and the color is circle. So we're gonna um, add more people to this circle. Now, usually you just want people to see, but if you got family members also sharing their combined pictures, it's a great way to, to keep adding to that. Now, we're switching back to the iPad, and now you see the photo album that we created. Uh, we called this album uh, Christmas Holidays uh, 2018. Now we see the photo that uh, the other person that we invited added to this uh, photo album. So along with the, the others, they added one. So see who's in the circle. Uh, this person who created it. And this other person that we invited, which was myself. Now you see the option, you could remove them from your circle. Um, say someone is not participating or just contributing uh, inappropriate content. Um, or you just, <laughs> like some families have a falling out. So you could uh, remove them from that circle or a friend. So what we could do is just keep creating more albums. Now you're probably going to put dozens and dozens of pictures per album. Um, just for the sake of this demo, I don't have uh, much on this iPad. You know, uh, of course, probably do it on your phone. iPads can take pictures too, so I just don't use my iPad for photo taking. Uh, uh, it's just more uh, app-based stuff. So we created a new one. Um, and it's just for the sake of putting something there. Well, let's uh, let's do that. We'll put the Snoopy in a spacesuit. Um, so see, it'll grab whichever is the latest photo and put that as your uh, holder or thumbnail for that. Um, create more albums. Um, call it uh, uh, Yo Semity. 2020 and of course we'll need uh, we'll need photos from our Yosemite trip uh, and we'll put those there and then you share these with uh, family and relatives um, that's how I suggested down here this uh, looks like a group of people plus and then we're gonna send the join link out uh, through your email app or what I did was I copied it down here and it saves it to the clipboard. Then I opened up my email and I pasted it. But if you have everyone in your address book through your uh, messenger, through a uh, chat app that's displayed here, um, it's much easier to do that. And then they can uh, join in on your, your circles here. So you have the option to um, caption these, uh, these pictures here. On vacation to... So it's just an example of... Uh, you know, capturing a photo to either uh, describe it, uh, place, name the place and date and time of the location, and um, or just uh, something humorous. So when people do open these, they'll 
they'll read a caption along with the photo. Um, some photos may need some explaining, so uh, those uh, captions are available there. I'm not sure on the text length, though. Didn't say how many we can go or can't do, um, but I'm sure you got to keep it brief. Um, it's not paragraphs. So we'll go back. So essentially, that is the Photo Circle uh, photo album sharing app. Now, it's no bells and whistles. It doesn't create no uh, decorative uh, outline framing for your photos or an automated photo album like some others do, where they'll um, try to get fancy. Uh, you know, you could have it auto advance like a slideshow and even add some uh, probably royalty free music in the background. This is strictly sharing the photos it's simple easy to use has a clean user interface um, and it does what it needs to do uh, so check it out uh, it works for uh, android as well and um, just demoing it on the ipad because that's a what i have so i'm using apple's uh, app store but certainly go to the google play store and, and get this and try it out all right everyone Thanks for uh, watching this, and um, stay tuned for more uh, app demos coming up. Thank you. Bye.